Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're here today with some gameplay. This is going to be a defensive gameplay. Um, you see this guy has a 99 overall team, so he is a very uh, good player, or he has a very good team, and you see we're going to come up. Uh, and lock him down well when I say lock down you'll see exactly what I mean so he's coming out in a big heavy set so we're gonna come out in the run defense get a guy shooting through the a gap that's what you want um, that's the run defense that you want to run um, especially against any type of dive or um, or base something like that uh, this is a great run defense to do especially because you can put your outside linebackers on zones or uh, in this instance we have Michael Vick so we're going to put one of them in a the spot and the other in the zone. Now going back to the previous play, you've seen that he did fumble it and my guy didn't even pick it up and his Michael Vick picked it up. So that's one of his breaks um, that he already got this, uh, this game. What you're going to see is he gets uh, either three or four really big bailouts in this game. Uh, you'll see that later on with some of the plays where he throws it deep. Um, and, and a couple other plays. That fumble was one. Um, you'll see a couple others here. He comes out in gun split close. We're going to throw the nickel blitz at him. He blocks a running back. We still get the guy coming in free. So he punts the ball. We go up score. Uh, comes back out in the gun split close. And we're still going to run the nickel blitz at him. He's going to try and block the running back to the left. Uh, we're aware of that post. That's why we man up the outside guy. And we're just going to cover anything up the middle. So, uh, you know, he stays in the three by one uh, by one. Um, same thing, we man up the uh, post and we cover anything across the middle. Um, you see we got stuck on a D-line in there, so it was a little bit, um, didn't what we want to do, so I just had to get back uh, as soon as I can. But we were lucky enough to get Vaughn Miller to have block, shed, and sack. So, like I said, you know, I'm expecting the post, that's what most people like to hit. Um, but I'm going to cover anything down the middle. You see there, I, I cover that quick uh, in route, and then I try to get back to that uh, that C in route. Um, but we're able to send the blitz in and get the sack. So he's going to go for it. Here's another bailout. It's fourth and 18. Uh, I'm going to send the house to Buckslant show two at him. Um, and what sucks is the one time I don't man up the uh, the seam. I normally always, 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 always man up the seam what you're gonna see is that he's gonna hike throw the seam um, and get the first down so I mean I should have been there yes uh, I kind of feel like that was a bailout too because it was fourth and 18 and he just chucked the seam um, at about you know 13 four to 15 yards down the field so he still had about another five yards to go and was able to get it but anyway uh, back on defense um, we're covering anything the seam there you see he catches that. I, I, don't, I would drop it. That's that's what kind of gets on my nerves, is that people like that would catch those, but I can't catch a simple slant or even a rat catch. Uh, but you know it is what it is. You you play the next down. Um, I'm okay with him actually getting one yard. Um, see here, he's gonna start attacking the flats. He does that uh, throughout the game. Uh, he does have the best team by far in the game. He's got the 99 Vic. I'm sure that's the the best uh, running back. That you can get for the money. Larry Fitzgerald, 99 overall. So you see this guy has a really, really stacked team that's that's uh, very hard to, to go up against. Uh, whatever Murray that is, I'm sure it's the best one, 99. Chad Johnson, etc. Um, but you see we're able to send the, uh, send the blitz here. We're getting a guy free. He's going to start hitting the flats. Like I said, come up short. So now it's fourth and inches. He goes no huddle. Uh, we're going to set up the run D uh, just in case he tries to run the ball. Um, and what you see is that we're going to get Vaughn Miller coming in free off the inside zone um, and tackle him in the backfield for a uh, turnover on downs. So we go down and score, go up 16-0. What happens is he gets a safety um, on the kick return. So now he's down 18 to nothing. He's going to start and try running the ball. But we have run defense. I'm okay with him actually running the ball because he's down three possessions. Um, he's actually going to start going no huddle a lot. And uh, we're able to really adjust to it, but but he gets bailed out throughout this drive. Uh, you see he's running power to the left, but the run defense is really set up for a run to the right. And what you'll see is that I'll actually flip the play. Um, 
throughout the drive it because I notice it keeps running power left and um, so I flip it and able to stop the run to the uh, to the left side as well there you see I don't know why 24 he needs to come down and play that because he's actually manned up on the running back fullback but he's not playing as uh, he's not playing as run fit or anything but uh, you see he's going no huddle running the ball like I said I'm actually okay with it because he's down three possessions and he's just continuously running you see here I flipped it because my linebackers on the opposite side and watch him shoot the gap you see I shoots the gap there that's what's supposed to happen uh, anytime they run a power inside zone something like that if the run if the linebackers on the opposite side of the way the run is going to or he's over the center so the next play that's coming up is his bailout you see here he rolls to the left uh, we send the spy spy for some reason can't get there fast enough triple coverage my guy doesn't animate watch my hands my guy puts his hands up to just put his hands up the the thing clearly highlights but he doesn't go up and try to pick the ball so that's bailout uh, number three I would say um, but like I said Madden 17 is gonna have bum friendly and besides the previous uh, offensive drive this is really where the game um, just takes over and I feel like let's bum stay in the game because you see um, some of the stuff that's gonna happen starting with the previous offensive drive and then this drive you see here we're not worried about the run defense uh, he's gonna you know keep going no huddle um, he's actually gonna score on this drive um, he shouldn't have um, but you, you'll see what happens uh, within the drive but I mean this guy's got the best players um, in the game I, I can't really do too much to it. Um, and I should actually have a better uh, safety there, like a cornerback with good high man coverage. Um, see here, second and ten. He's actually going to run a slant to Chad Johnson. Um, he's just too good, you know, releasing a route running. Um, just too good. Beats him on the inside. Um, so then we tackle him third and short. We're going to stop him on third down, actually, um, and bring him fourth down. But... Um, you see we stop and went run defense guy shooting the gap um, and then I thought I made the proper adjustment by putting bar manned up on Johnson so he couldn't run a slant because you see I do it with Von Miller to Marshall side but apparently I put the safety on uh, on him and that screws it up because he runs that in route uh, and Chad Johnson is just too good uh, and he scores a touchdown uh, so he gets the ball back um, we're up 18 to 7, gets the ball back, tides are turning, you see here, um, I'm still okay with him running the ball, uh, fourth quarter, three minutes to go, I'm, I'm okay with that. So the way he gets bailed out on this drive is he's going to hit um, a post and then a slant that I should use her, um, but I don't get any animation. Um, so you see here, he's actually going to try and hit the Z spot post, um, and I'm, I'm expecting it because he ran it earlier. Um, but you see that I fake the drag, then I go to the post, and then I just clearly do not animate. I'm hitting triangle, um, and once again, I don't animate. Uh, bailed out again. That should have been a pick. He's six foot six. Should have been, should have been a pick. Here we are on bar. He throws a slant again. Don't animate. Watch. I'm gonna show you exactly why I should have uh, intercepted it there. See right here how my thing lights up for play ball. So the game obviously registers it um, as play ball. Watch again, you'll see it, it's gonna light up right there. You see how it, it lights up for a second? Um, that shows that I should have intercepted it, should have played ball, Anthony Barr, six foot five. I picked so many of those off in the past, especially like in Madden 15, 16, and previously, but in this year's Madden, you see two plays uh, back to back where I should have intercepted the ball. Um, I feel like they dumbed down the user ability in Madden 17 really, really hard. Um, here you're gonna see he just he scram he's a left-handed quarterback scrambles to the right throws off his back foot twisting around and is able to throw a complete dot to someone who's on the other side of the field. Um, but you see that's the that's the, uh, the game for that. Uh, if you want to see the offensive gameplay, check out the other video. Uh, if I would have done the offense with this, it'd have been like a 20-minute video, and I didn't want to do that. Um, but check that out. See how I won the game on offense. Uh, see how I got screwed on the second half. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. And be sure to check out Madden247.com. And if you'd like to support me directly and get the best content in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.